Hello, welcome to another edition of the Weeping Prophet by Sister Philomena. So today's topic or message is, it is useless to worship God if you don't worship him in spirit and in truth. So the Bible topic is um, taken from the book of Mark chapter 7 from verse 6 to 9 and the book of Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7. So, you know, God created us for himself alone. You remember the Bible say that God is a jealous God. The question is, why would God be jealous? For what reason? What could be the consequence if God is jealous? For what? My dear, whether you like it or not, God is our father. He is our friend. He is our life. Even he turned himself to our lover. God chose to sacrifice his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, for the sake of us. Think of it as parents. Put yourself in his shoes. If you have an only child, here is my big question. I will call this foolish question, I will also say. Will you or will you not intentionally sacrifice your only child's life, whether son or daughter, to save others? I call this big question, uh, you know, um, a foolish question. In the sense that if I ask anybody with an only issue, such question, <laughs> I will be termed a lunatic or some people will say a mad person. So now you will understand the principle that God the Father is operating with. God, they say, is a spirit, but we know that he's more than a spirit. And those who worship him must do so in spirit and in truth. God is a democratic God. When you talk about democracy, it started right from the time of creation. When you go to the Good News Bible, Genesis verse 1, 26, and now we will make human beings. King James version now said, and God said, let us make man in our image. God went into agreement with his son and the Holy Spirit before creating man. You now understand why Jesus agreed to sacrifice, you know, to sacrificing himself on the cross of Calvary. Jesus understood that his father loved his creatures to the extent of coming to the Garden of Eden to visit them. You remember the story of Adam and Eve, meaning he loved the works of his hand, especially man. Because he made us after his own image and likeness and even gave us dominion over all the things he created. My brothers and sisters, including the Satan you are afraid of, he gave us dominion over him. Because he has fallen from heaven to earth. God wants, God wants that we worship him in spirit and in truth. God hates hypocrites. You know? People who hear the word of God, but they don't do what the word of God wants them, uh, 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 asks them to do, to take off it. God has given us a choice to choose him or the devil. Some choose correctly, but some prefer to sit on the wall by serving two masters at the same time, which is not acceptable to him. You don't make God a jealous God. God don't like hypocrisy. People who honor him with their words, but their hearts is really far away from him. Mark 7 verse 6. Then verse 7 now say from the same chapter now say, It is no use for you to worship God because you teach human rules as though they were God's law. Verse 8 now say, You put aside God's command and obey human teachings. My dear, our beliefs of tradition, legends, nuns, and ways of life cancels out the word of God. And the Bible says there are many other things we do that cancel the word of God. The worst is that we pass it on to other people. When you go to the Facebook of 
Tim uh, uh, the first book of Timothy verse four five. It says, "They keep away from those godless legends which are not worth telling. Keep yourself in training for a godly life." That is exactly the reason God the Father hid the exact day. Yea, his son will be coming back as the king of kings and the lord of law. God wants people who worship him in spirit and in truth. And God don't want eye service people. He doesn't want hypocrites. And that's the more reason why you should live your life like Jesus wants you to live it. Because you never know when you will meet him. He will come like a thief in the night. Remember this was. Call him father and he will call you his child. That is it from me, Sister Philomena. That will be a prophet. God bless you.